The Australian sea lion is one of Australia's most well-known ocean inhabitants. With their puppy dog-like appearance and gentle, curious nature, they have become one of the world's most approachable oceanic species. Although an interaction with this species may paint a picture of an animal excelling in its environment, the science behind the species shows a darker image. One where we see the population, already listed as vulnerable, creeping closer each year to an endangered status. What you're looking at here at Seal Bay is one of the rarest seal species left on the planet. Uh, we've got roughly 1,000 sea lions here, uh, which makes up about, oh, it's the third largest colony for the species. Uh, South Australian Research and Development Institute, SARDI, did a comprehensive statewide survey of the Australian sea lion late last year and believes that there's now approximately 10,500 uh, of these animals left in the wild. Once population numbers drop below 10,500, the IUCN's red list of threatened species will see the Australian sea lion's already grim status of vulnerable be increased to endangered. We actually found out through this statewide survey that the population is declining at a rate of about 4.4% per breeding season. Here at Seal Bay it's a little bit slower at 1% to 2% per breeding season. And the reason we believe that there is a decline is one, they haven't recovered from um, hunting days back in the early 1800s, but also there seems to be an issue with fisheries bycatch, so interactions with our um, fishing industry. The Australian sea lion population is confined to the southern coasts of Australia, with roughly 83% of the population found in South Australian waters. Their range of distribution spans across the Great Australian Bight in South Australia through to Western Australia's southern coast. The species, never recovering from the damage done when hunted for fur in the 17 and 1800s, still faces a challenge in its efforts to recover today. The diet of an Australian sea lion unfortunately mimics many of the fishing industry's targeted species, meaning sea lions now run the risk of crossing paths with gill nets and cray pots, causing entanglements and drownings. So particularly the gill net fishing, um, that's that monofilament shark netting that drags on the bottom of the ocean. We believe it accounts for about 66% of sea lion entanglements because sea lions are a benthic feeder, so they're feeding on the bottom of the ocean and they're looking, at, they're looking for the cephalopods, uh, crustaceans, and so that's where there's going to be interactions with those nets down there and also with the cray pots as well. With the studies produced by the South Australian Research and Development Institution showing a population drop of roughly 4.4% per breeding season, the Government of South Australia has introduced zone regulations that will shut down any zone for a year and a half when an Australian sea lion is caught as bycatch. Uh, so what Persa and Saadi have done is, uh, in South Australian water, which is where 83% of the species lives, is they've divided it into seven particular zones. And within these zones, you can bycatch only one or two Australian sea lions. And once that trigger limit is met, then that zone is shut down from gillnet fishing for a year and a half. Now, the good thing is, is that these boats all have cameras that are filming the nets as they're being dragged up into the boat. So it's not an honesty system and we have high compliance from the, the fishing industry as well. So that's a great step in terms of uh, helping the, the species in, with their decline. Due to a breeding cycle of only once every 18 months and the small numbers of each Australian sea lion colony, if a breeding female is killed due to the fishing industry's practices, it can potentially affect production across an entire colony, adding greater stress to their already low recovery rate. With the new regulations introduced and the commitment from the fishing industry to comply, let's hope the future of this iconic Australian animal becomes a little brighter.